Hi everyone, Anna here. So today is, whew, it's a historic day and it marks the first day of starting on the full dose of Propulsid, this magical medication that I hope to be, I hope it is super magical. I believe it to be super magical. So normally I would only take one of these syringes but I get to take two today because they're 10 milliliters each. So, and I take the liquid kind, which is um, called suspension form in medical lingo because um, I don't digest, I can't break down like an oral tablet very well. So a lot of my medications are orally dissolving tablets, ODTs or um, suspension, which is liquids, so see what today holds. Really struggling with some really bad gas pain. Like, it's a little better now. Not that much, but I could not even... I get this. I get episodes of this sometimes, but this is one of those really bad times where I can't hardly like think or speak or anything. So I have my heating pad on and I don't know if it's cause sometimes I get bad gas when things aren't moving in my GI system or when things start to move. I I feel like it's a little early to say because I've only taken three doses of Propulsive, like the full dose, but I think it's some last night, but who knows, maybe it's just helping a little bit and hopefully I'll be feeling better in less than an hour or something basically soon, as soon as possible. Well, it's about three hours later and I guess you could say the pain's a little bit better since I'm talking because that wasn't happening. I was able to strangely enough fall asleep for a very short while um, just keeping this heating pad on and taking gas X and curling up and I've been in this crazy amount of pain since well it's been really bad since uh, about 11 o'clock this morning and right now it's after 4 30 so So, my guess is that um, things are clearing out in my GI system. Um, I did go to the bathroom. You guys are going to hear some GI stuff from me, so it's real life. Hashtag real life, folks. But it's been extremely painful, so it's exciting and frustrating and painful at the same time. It's just, I think, because this has happened to me before when I go for a long time without having any movement in my GI system where like I just can't get it to work and then I just take tons and tons and tons of like laxatives or whatever. Um, and because you have gas when it's stuck and then you have a ton though when it gets moving and I think that's the issue here so it's not the most pleasant day that I've been having but I was going to write a blog post and do all the things but you know this is just life with a chronic illness and sometimes this happens so I'm going to continue 
surviving and I'm going to uh, we kind of talked I talked through with my mom a little bit and we I decided to take 10 milliliters of because I've been scared to take my next dose of the pulse which I'm due to take it and I'm going to take 10 milliliters and then maybe an hour later take the other 10 so that way I'm not like taking it all at once I don't know if that will help but I'm really hoping that in the next hour or so, or two or five or by tomorrow, I won't have all this gas pain. <laughs> um, I will talk to you guys later, but obviously I'm sitting up, so that's a better sign, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to film here, and <laughs> Matthew is... <laughs> Matthew is um, trying to get the right lighting, so it's got a piece of aluminum foil, like, reflecting light up here to try to get the right lighting. <laughs> because the light's coming down from the ceiling, is it working as well? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so I'm cooking noodles. Here. Cooking noodles, and I'm downstairs, you guys, and the pain is gone right now. So, so um, I think the light is going really well, right? So we're gonna talk to you later in some worse lighting. Well, everyone, I am hooked up to my lactated ringer. As you can see and I am going to eat my dinner and just relax for the rest of the night so incredibly grateful that I am NOT in pain really hoping tomorrow is a lot better because I got things I want to do you know not be in bed in crippling pain all day it's not my favorite so I'm going to say good night and I will see you all super soon. Bye.